Hi guys, this is Mr. Light Visual. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be introducing you to another Akiad feature that you need to be aware of if you are a regular Akiad user and want to save time in your Akiad workflows. This will be just a quick brief demonstration of uh, how to save a new favorites in your daily Akiad workflow. So I think we've covered favorites in one of our videos, uh, but today we'll just be, you know, diving deep into, you know, saving and using favorites into your project and exporting them into your other project. So yeah, I'll leave uh, the, the, the link of that video in the description as well. So you can just go preview and, you know, get a few tips if you already missed. Okay, let's jump into it. Just a quick synopsis of the theory behind Akikad favorites. You know, uh, one may wonder what favorites are. So I'll just dive in a brief theory. <laughs> Favorites are very, you know, a very useful time saving and management feature in Akikad. I think, you know, you, it allows you to, to save the custom settings of an object and any tool that you use on a regular. This is so that you can recall the, those settings with a, you know, a mouse click without having to spend the time to fill in the settings time and over again so I think you you just track settings once and then you save them sort of a preset and maybe that you, if you are aware of what oh, at Boa uh, Adobe Premiere that's how you save presets like this again is just emphasizing the key concepts of uh, improving work efficiency and helping accurate users to get the most of Akikad, you know, that manifesto of ours, uh, improving efficiency in project workflows. Yeah, that's basically it. So this favorite tool is very important if you're a businessman and you want to improve your project efficiency and workflow. So stay tuned and have fun. So to save a favorite, select the component you want to save and go to the settings dialog, which is a, uh, I should get to the settings dialog as control T. Yeah, I think. And then click on the favorite. That's sort of a star-like uh, button at the top left and the select settings command. That's star, star-like, yeah. Click on the new favorite icon at the bottom of the favorite palette. We can enter a name and, and the new favorite, you know, save your name, maybe here, Armenian Windows. And then click OK. The new favorite is now listed among other available settings. Or you can create a folder and then create your own favorite list. So this favorite will be available in every project template that you're using. That's the thing that I want to teach you, like how do you export this to another project file. Let's say this favorites now. I've created uh, this window pack favorite. So the uh, Omnium range windows, which are available for download. Uh, I think I've, I'll leave the link in the description of the same video, but now demonstrating as a module, the window pack is modules. Now today, as this window pack is favorites. So now I want to teach you how to export this, how I did export this window pack. But at the end of the day, I'll be teaching you how to import this window pack now into your projects, on your daily project, just to improve your workflows so that you, you save time when it comes to editing windows. And there are doors as well. I'll leave the link as well to the description. Yeah. So now, like I said, the catch, the catch of today is 
exporting and importing as favorites. So yeah, this is a list of windows saved. We need to do this now to export them to other project files so that we can never have to edit this windows ever again. First we need to bring up our favorite palette. What you need to do is go to window, palette and then click on favorite palette. When the palette is brought up, uh, you then go to the additional settings at the right top corner and then hit export. That's where you input the, the name, you know the file, the file name and where you're going to save it so that when you import you know where you get it. So that's just briefly how you export favorites but now let's import them to a new project or a different file to see if our methodology works. So today's emphasis is on importing our favorites and showing you, you guys how you can save time and maneuver with our MS Beam window pack. And yeah, that's just it. So if you have downloaded the window pack, let's say now uh, you come again to this video just to understand how you use this pack. This pack. Open up a new project and repeat the same steps of bringing up the favorite palette by going to window, then palette, then click on favorite. Go to the HNR settings at the top, top right there, you know, click import. Now, I agree. <laughs> uh, like, you, you know, you saw how I exported now. So you go to the same area of importing now. Click on import and then go locate the file. Then click on the window pack file. They will be listed here, like when you import it, see? So this is all the favorites, all files, all window packs. So make sure you click all the windows, tick all the boxes, then hit import. And the favorite palette, there'll be and then MSB window pack with subfolders. And now you can see they are now imported in your workflows. Yeah, once you're happy with the imported objects, the window pack, you can start, you know, uh, applying the process of applying the window pack to your project. And this is, you can see how I'm doing this. Uh, you select the window that you want to replace. And then you go to the window folders and you choose which one to apply. And then you can double click and then uh, change the window project by applying. Yeah, that's just it. That's just it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please go through our videos and notify us on any topic, tool, or anything based on Akiket or Lunion that you'd like us to cover. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, for, you know, and when you are new here, Please, uh, we will appreciate if you subscribe for more videos like this. Yeah, I guess that's it for today. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.